This is a, a great drill for getting you moving your feet, um, getting your first shots on the inside, moving around your target, moving to the left uh, and to the right, so working your dominant and less dominant side. And again, it gives you like a visual marker, which I know a lot of youngsters, um, oh, well, and myself to be fair, uh, respond well to. So a skipping rope, if you've got one, would be ideal. If not, any kind of rope uh, or something you can form a circle with. So, with the skipping rope then, or whatever you've got, you're going to form a circle on the floor. How big is a circle? Well, that's up to you. Uh, the bigger the circle, obviously, the more you'll move around the outside. The smaller the circle, obviously, the less you'll move around the outside. So, again, it's, it's kind of up to, um, kind of up to you how much you want to move. So, how do we do it then? Boxing stance. Lead foot right on the edge of the circle. There's 101 different drills for this, um, for this exercise. I'm gonna give you a couple, uh, but have a play, have a think, post some videos and tag me in it of other stuff you've done, that'd be great. Um, but here are a couple of things you can do. So obviously I'm, a, uh, I'm orthodox, so my lead foot, is my left foot obviously is gonna be just on the edge of the skipper rope. All these drills done with good technique, there's no point practicing poor technique. My lead foot just on the edge of the skipper rope, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna not throw any shots, I'm just gonna get used to surfing around. So let's pretend my target is in the middle. All right, well maybe, I say in the middle, sorry, the other side of the skipping rope, not in the middle, the other side of the skipping rope. So as I move around the circle, I'm gonna use good technique, good form, make sure my legs don't cross, and make sure that my lead foot, it stays right on the edge, right on the edge of that circle. You can imagine now my opponent is opposite me, okay? Now, if you're a right-hander, going left is a comfortable way. So make sure you don't just go left for the entire round. So you wanna be doing like rounds of this, Make sure you don't go left for the entire round. So I'm going left, now I'm going to work right. Again, going right, my feet don't cross, and my, my lead foot stays right on the edge of the circle. Then I'm going to change directions again. I'm taking little steps. I'm not taking these big steps across. Little steps. Okay, so that's circling. Easy enough. Now, we're going to let the hands go a little bit. So you can imagine if my foot is on the edge of the uh, circle, I'm, on the edge of range, which is where we'll spend most of our time. As soon as I push into the centre, or into the circle, I'm in range now, one of two things have got to happen. I've got to be letting my hands go, or I've got to be moving my head, because I've got to expect punches coming back. All right, so in this case, we're going to let our hands go. So every time we step into the circle, you can set your own drill for this, or your own numbers. Every time I step into the circle, I've got to let two shots go. And as soon as I finish punching, I'm either moving my head, or in this case, I'm getting back out of the circle and moving back around. Okay, so I'm not just stepping, letting go, and stepping out and staying still. I'm stepping, letting go, stepping, stepping out and moving around. Okay, so how does it play out? So we're moving around, as soon as I step in, boom, I throw two shots, and I move them again, move again. Step in, two shots, out, move again. All the way around. You would get all the way around the circle, once I don't turn my back to the camera, that's all. So I'm moving around, in, boom, boom, back out, back around. All right, you don't have to throw those two. Boom, boom, you can throw two other shots, even a double jab. You can get the double jab going on the move. So rather than just throwing it here, I can move around with it, boom, boom, and then straight back out. I'll go the other way, boom, boom, straight back out. Loads of different things you can do with that drill. Play with it, play with it, play with it. Okay, so that's one drill. The next drill, well, two drills. Another drill is I go into the circle. Imagine if it's a clock face, 12 o'clock, Three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock. So if I go in at the 12 o'clock position, again, let's say two shots every time I step in. Go in, boom, boom, I'm gonna let two shots go. Now I cannot exit the circle the same way I came in. So I've come in the six, I've got to go out either the 12, three or nine. So I've come in the six, let's say I go out the, uh, the three, so I push across and I'm out. All right, again, a little bit faster. So I've come in the six, and I've gone out the three. Yeah? Angles, 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 angles. Or I come in the six and I've gone out the nine. Loads of different things. You can even go the full 180. You can come in the six, boom, boom, and then you can go out the 12. Alright? So angles, just do a round of that. Don't always go the way that you're comfortable. And they're quite big, 90 degree angles. I do tell you not to, not to be so greedy when you're angling. Um, so if you wanted to, you just I don't want to list every number on the clock face, but if you're more about the, I'm going to go in at the, uh, the six and come out at a five, 
Or if, that's fine. But I say I don't want to give you every single clock face number. So that's your angles. One more drill, and then you can obviously come up with your own, is every time I step into the circle, I'm on the inside. So I'm going to work on the inside with four tight little shots and then exit. Again, try not to exit straight out. So we're here. I've come into the middle. I'm on the inside. Hands up, chin down, elbows tight. I might want to let four shots go, boom. But they're tight shots. So I don't want to start throwing straights, uh, long, sorry, straights, long hooks, long uppercuts. All right, they're tight. So I'm in here, I'm tight, my chin's down. I throw a little four shots. All right, once I've done that, I'm out. All right, and then I can move again. We haven't talked about side stepping, but if you find what feel like side stepping around the outside, that's cool. But every time, oh, every time I step into the middle, I'm on the inside, bah, 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 and I'm back out. Bah, 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 and I'm back out. Bah, 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 bah. Ba, 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 ba. Got it? Simple. In the inside work, on the inside back out. Simple. One skipping rope, whatever bit of kit you've used. Great drill. You can get two, three, six different rounds out on this, if not more. Um, honestly, get a rope down on the floor, or get some rope down. Get doing this, guys, and I swear your, your footwork and your ring craft will, will, will increase and will improve so much. Hope you enjoyed it. Do your own videos, stick them online, tag us in it if you like. Um, but yeah, just enjoy it and get it done, guys.